It's Friday, August 5th here in Seoul. Hey everyone, it's Debbie from Korea Now, and these are your daily headlines. After almost two years of renovations, the Gwangwon Square in Seoul will officially reopen to the public this weekend. Seoul City said an opening ceremony will be held Saturday evening, and roads around the plaza will be closed off from 6 to 10 p.m. The Gwangwon Square has been under construction since November 2020, with the goal to expand the square and turn part of it into a park with new historical attractions. And since the park is intended to be a resting place for citizens, Seoul City has decided not to allow large gatherings or protests that can cause noise or traffic around the landmark. North Korea has declared stronger ties and cooperation with Russia as it celebrates the 21st anniversary of the Moscow Declaration this year. In a statement on Thursday, North Korea's foreign ministry said Pyongyang will continue to develop its friendly relations with Moscow and work closer together in the struggle to ensure world peace and security. In August 2001, former North Korean leader Kim Jong-il visited Moscow to meet with his Russian counterpart Vladimir Putin. At the end of their summit, the leader signed the Moscow Declaration, which emphasized stronger ties and cooperation between their countries. Recently, North Korea has been showing more support towards its communist allies like China and Russia, while turning away from dialogue with the U.S. and South Korea. Black Eagles of the South Korean Air Force became the first foreign aerobatic team to fly over Egyptian pyramids. On Wednesday, the Black Eagles staged a joint flyby with the Egyptian Air Force's Silver Stars during the Pyramids Air Show in Giza. The exhibition was jointly arranged by the Air Forces of South Korea and Egypt in an effort to support South Korea's bid to export the F-A-50 light attack fighters to Egypt. Observers say that Cairo's decision to allow a foreign team to fly over the pyramids for the first time highlights the country's desire to strengthen its defense industry cooperation with South Korea. And those are your top stories. For full-length articles, you can go to our official website, link down below. As always, make sure to subscribe to Korea Now for more daily updates.